Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back. It's your boy Serrano. I wanted to invite you into the Stylo 2 Plus after the update video from Metro PCS, the system update. Um, as you can see, if you go into this, uh, the website for T-Mobile now and you, and you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that it says Stylo 2 Plus system update is complete. So special shout out to everybody in the Stylo 2 Plus community, the Stylo community on Facebook. Uh, special shout out to uh, Ray Anthony for um, commenting that, you know, the last video was a little bit low. So I wanted to redo it. Shout out to Paul Tech. Shout out to uh, Lance Tech. Shout out to Jay Williams. Shout out to um, Tech for Networkers. And um, shout out to um, to the loop. Also, shout out to Grant and anybody else who I watch on YouTube. Um, you're not your average consumer. Here you can see on the system update, I composed a list here of all the new features that we'll be getting. <clears throat> so I'm going to just go through them real quick with you guys. The first one is move apps to the, to the SD card. From, from to the SD card from internal then you're gonna get the revamped multi window you're gonna get smaller apps to save space you're gonna get a trash bin inside of your gallery that'll store your photos and your videos for at least seven days of time which is pretty cool you're also gonna get an app drawer on your system as well which will be downloaded from the LG um, you know um, the LG um, will provide that for you in a free download after the update. You'll get new notifications. And as well as that, you'll get an optimized quicker and faster um, than ever before screen performance that you'll be able to take advantage of when you're gaming, watching videos, um, basically multitasking from screen to screen. Um, it's going to be a lot quicker and a lot smoother, you're going to notice. Um, so the settings toggles feature is actually better it's actually easier to navigate and to manipulate and um, you'll actually be able to take advantage of that as well i'm going to show you guys um, and give you a rundown on my phone here exactly what i mean you'll be able to use spotify in the multi window now and there's new notifications that you could use your two fingers to see inside it um, you'll also be able to close it as well and long press it to get additional options you'll also get the ability to customize your icons to your liking and actually add your own icon um, in addition to that um, while the phone is actually charging you'll be able to see the, the um, remaining time before it reaches a hundred percent the quick memo feature also has a lasso on it and I'll talk about that as well the only thing that we did lose in this system update was the video calling which I believe you'll be able to um, actually retain and revitalize if you do a uh, basically a software um, a, a reset a factory reset and I believe that will fix the issue because actually some people in my prior video to this one had commented that even after the 7.0 nougat they still had the ability to use their video calling feature which I actually didn't have the ability to use after the update but if you watch my video prior to this one I actually have a video where you could actually talk to people from Android to Android from the Apple to iPhone or iPhone to Apple or vice versa um, Android to Apple I'm sorry and um, pretty much it's usable on any platform so the dual window is now going to be replaced by the multi window which has a lot more features that I'll be able to show you here and um, there's no custom keyboard so it doesn't change from black to white anymore but you'll be able to download your own customizable keyboard from the Play Store and that'll solve that issue altogether. Let me show you this is how you would change your devices internal to SD you would go to the apps and you'd go into system and then you'd go into the um, apps it would let you go into storage and you'd be able to move um, your apps from your internal to your SD um, one of the things that I did notice with this feature is that 
the app actually has to be from the Play Store. If it's an APK file, I believe the uh, it will not actually let you do it. Immediately after I went into the system update and I went into settings and storage, I looked inside of here and what it was was that I had 2.1 giga GBs basically and then after the update I ended up having 3.4 GBs. Um, in the Nougat, the 7.0 Nougat, what it does is it optimizes your apps and it shrinks them for more optimization to get better performance and a better battery life out of your device so as you can see if you download the nougat you'll get optimized apps but in addition to that now the the gallery has a a trash area where you you could store videos and photos for up to seven days of time um without it being deleted automatically if you do not del um if you do not restore that information within that time frame, your information will automatically be deleted. You could actually go in there and manipulate it and delete it from the trash area and um, free, up state, free up space immediately. In addition to that, when I went into the home screen feature, I went into the top section and I actually had the ability right after they updated to, to download home and app drawer. It popped up right up here at the top notification. Um, if you swipe that away, you're going to have to go into the updates for your system settings updates. And you're going to have to go to about phone and you're going to have to go to the update center. And that's where you would get the LG um, updates right here. Smart world. And you'll just download it from there and it'll actually give you the ability to get it from there. One of my favorite things about the new software is the the toggles of in the settings where it looks like an, it's a, an accordion motion and it goes into a um, transparent. Then you have your notifications that when you take two fingers and you open it with two fingers, it gives you options here and then you get more options um, here and you could actually open that up and um you know, you, you could actually long press it as well and you can get additional options. Go to YouTube, open up any video and actually press the, um, the multi uh, screen here. And what it does is it actually turns two rectangles right here, which tells you you're in the dual window. Once that does that, all you have to do is press back. And then what it does is you could still hear um, everything in the background if you're playing a song or something or if you just want to listen. You could still manipulate your screen and you can still hear your content. To get back inside of it, you would press uh, the dual window again and it takes you directly to it with the recent apps that you just used. You'd have the ability to pretty much use 90% of them inside of here which the dual window didn't give you that option so i also added here that you'd be able to look at spotify which you didn't have in the dual window but now it actually gives you that ability right here try going to any icon and long pressing it and actually you'll get a paintbrush at the top right corner which will give you the ability to actually customize the icon to your liking you could actually add new icon and what it does is it says drag the right bottom corner to resize to the size of the home to, of the home screen so that it gives you that ability right there and then you could also just cancel to get out of it but you have customizable icons now with the 7.0 nougat the quick memo feature has a lasso tool now so all you have to do is grab your pen like, just like this circle around whatever object you want to um, highlight then it'll give you the ability to manipulate it and um, resize it to your liking
One thing that you're gonna notice is that your phone is gonna have absolutely no lag. It's gonna be optimized to the highest performance. Um, pretty much like the iPhone performance. What it is is that um, it's optimized and it's more um, with the 7.0 Nougat. You're gonna get a smoother experience here um, with flawless screen to screen um, multitasking and a quicker loading time from screen to screen because what it is is that now your your system software is optimized and it shrunk the apps and now it's more optimized than it ever was before the only things that i did see that we lost were the video call feature which actually um, was here designated in the dial menu when you click that button you'd see it on the bottom left hand corner it actually got removed during the update but I believe some people told me in the comment section of my prior video that they still were able to have the that feature even after the 7.0 Nougat so um, I would assume that a factory reset would actually fix that option. Before the update, you used to be able to go into the keyboard of the stock Android experience and actually change it from a black to a white color. Um, now it just gives you current keyboard and um, no, no real options to actually customize it. So you'd have to actually get a customizable keyboard like Gboard from the Play Store and be able to customize it then to your liking. So we no longer have the dual window but we do have the multi window which actually comes more of value to us because we could actually customize it with more apps and use more different features of our phone than we were able to before with the dual window feature. So you definitely um, got an upgrade with all those different features that the Stylo 2 Plus did have to offer. Um, basically what happened was um, the 7.0 gave us a phone that is definitely going to be um, ready for 2017. And even though the Stylo 3 Plus is out right now for T-Mobile, I saw it in the window last night when I was walking to the subway train and um, the store was already closed. But um, definitely um, tell me down below in that comment section um, some of your uh, feedback about the 7.0 Nougat, the system update for the 7.0 Nougat. Tell me some of the features that you saw. If, you, if I missed something here, did you notice anything on the fingerprint or anything like that? Um, definitely give um, a shout out to everybody who is new to the channel. I thank you for actually um, subscribing and becoming um, one of the subscribers here. I'll give a shout out to Paul Tech, Lance Tech for shouting out the 7.0 Nougat. Shout out to um, Ray Anthony for actually um, giving me some feedback on the audio of the last video so I can make a better video for you guys and so um shout out to um all the current subscribers and the new subscribers as well um i'm definitely going to check you guys out on that next video and um definitely check out the catalog you can click my face and you'll see over the last four months um all the knowledge i've actually compiled about this the android system and um put it out there just for you so you become become a master at your system and your your smartphone again it's your boy serrano i thank you guys for watching this video and checking me out and i'll catch you guys on that next video with your boy and um i'll see you on the next one peace